This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition, as always. I do hope you're well. We're taking a bit of a look at this guitar today. Uh, if I've got my video scheduling right, and let's assume that I have, um, then this will be the final uh, guitar in the series of the, the new guitars that have been sent uh, from Faisley. Well, the Faisley guitars that have been sent from the, uh, the good people at Bax Music. Um, you may have seen a few weeks ago that I unboxed a bunch of them, uh, four to be precise, and every Saturday since then I've been uh, dropping an extra video in doing these reviews. And today it's the turn of this guitar. This is the Faisley Project Series P4 Heatwave Sunburst, Sunburnt, I beg your pardon, Limited Edition. And as you can see, it follows a rather familiar recipe with one or two twists and turns that we'll discuss as we go along and I'll tell you all about what's going on with this guitar and what I think about it right after we've heard what it sounds like in a mix. And as usual, you'll find a full tab for that piece of music in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing it and the jam track to play along with for yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, link in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these YouTube videos. And a massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are downstairs in the description. So... Um, settings I was using there. The main setting was the Blue Guitar Amp 1 Mercury Edition on the Vintage Channel, which gives an old school Marshall kind of tone. For the, um, the clean lead guitar parts and the clean strummy parts, I was just backing the guitar's volume control off. And for the high again uh, lead parts, just throwing the, uh, the new X Horseman uh, Clon style uh, drive pedal into the front end of the amp, and it sounded rather good, I thought. Um, it sounded like a guitar with this particular combination of pickups. This sounded very kind of telecastery, and this sounded very humbuckery, I thought, all the way through. Um, you know, 
it um, it did the job that you expect a guitar like this to do. Uh, we'll talk about the specs in a moment, but let's just have a little bit of a look at some weights and measures I've done for this guitar. Uh, first thing is the weight there, 4.1 kilos. It is a chunky old Hector, and, um, you know, it's. It, I wouldn't say it uh, gets into kind of boat anchor territory, but it is, you know, it's a weighty guitar, so... I know that bothers some people. For me personally on this guitar, or any guitar, it's all about balance. And, you know, this guitar is, you know, as you can see, take my hands away. Uh, it's not at all kind of, you know, I'm, I'm not having to put any effort into holding it in place in order to play it. So, you know, it has got that going for it. But if you don't like heavy guitars, you know, over a certain weight, then this might be a bit borderline for you to say the least. Uh, nut width of 42.3 millimeters and a fretboard radius of 12 inches. You can see the uh, first and 12th fret neck profiles there and the DC pickup resistances. Uh, the bridge pickup, uh, that single coil Telecaster style pickup, quite a, uh, a chunky output for such a pickup, 8.71k. Neck, surprisingly, being a humbucker, is a little bit less, 7.35. And in the middle, we have 4.05k. Um, so where are we? That's the button. Um, so, you know, it's, I would say that the bridge pickup is on the hotter end of the, what you'd expect for a vintage, um, range of sounds or vintage kind of value for, for a bridge pickup of this type, uh, so towards the hotter end of the spectrum. And the, the neck pickup is towards the kind of more mellow end of the spectrum for a humbucker. And I think that makes for a really balanced pickup set on this guitar you're not experiencing uh, that kind of imbalance when you go from one pickup to another and suddenly you know you, you you're either too quiet or too loud it just everything seems very well matched in that re in that regard uh, let's talk about the, um, the the headline figures for the specs on this guitar I'll put a link to the full spec down in the description but starting at the headstock we have um, Faisley branded locking tuners which do the job very well very kind of smooth quality feel to these um, we have a Graftec tusk nut uh, the neck is roasted maple and you know what looks like you know kind of figuring on there that's not that's um where the uh, the heat wave sunburned element of the name uh of this guitar comes in it's actually done with a blowtorch basically and i think it gives a a rather nice kind of uh, look to it as you can see high gloss finish on the back and front of the neck uh, we have 22 um sort of i would call them jumbo frets um and the body is basswood uh, quite a heavy guitar for a basswood body um, and it's got that same sort of blowtorch uh, kind of figuring going on you've got a little bit of a comfort carve around the back here I don't know if that's showing yeah you can probably see that a bit better if I do that and a little bit of a kind of shoulder carve here um, personal preference I like a, te a Telecaster to be a bit more I like the sort of square edge Telecaster kind of thing but um, you know, this isn't by any means a deal breaker. We have a six saddle Wilkinson bridge and, you know, the usual three way switch, master volume and master tone. As I say, a uh, link to the full spec down in the uh, description. Um, Faisley sent me uh, four guitars to do reviews on and the two budget -y kind of ones, the ones that are sort of sub £200. Um, both had issues you know that we have discussed in those videos uh, i'll link to all of the videos uh down in the description as well so you can check out what those are uh but the two more kind of upmarket ones the one the last one i did i think was the sunrise series tide blue ocean fade uh, 307 pounds will get you one of those if you want one of these it is a little bit more expensive 384 pounds so <clears throat> It's towards the, the higher end of the uh, the Faisley range, I guess. And it does feel like a, a guitar that feels a little bit more upmarket than compared to the, um, the what was it, the Sand Shark and the Tortoise, the, uh, the two budget models. Um, the high gloss finish on the neck is not something that I would normally be a fan of. I'm, more and more these days I am... Uh, expressing a preference for satin finishes but you know what this the, there's gloss and there's gloss isn't there and this gloss finish here doesn't feel at all sticky 
or you know it, it doesn't feel like it impedes you in any way it's got a very very slick smooth um you know fast feel to it um and i think it looks absolutely stellar as well that's i think when i unboxed this guitar i think i said you know it's got like a real custom shop kind of look especially to the neck and i'll, I'll stand by that um good range of sounds from the pickups um at the moment i'm going into uh that setting that you saw earlier the um the blue guitar amp one mercury edition and you know it's uh, i've got the volume control rolled back a bit and we get a nice clean sound Just realised you can't see the pickup selector. I was in the middle there, but let's check out the uh, the neck pickup with that sort of uh, rolled back clean sound a bit. And finally the bridge pickup. I you know, that is exactly the kind of tone you expect from that kind of bridge pickup really isn't it it's um you know it, it's pretty much the dictionary definition of it uh to my uh, to my mind and then all i gotta do to go from that to a, a nice kind of <coughs> classic rock crunch rhythm guitar sound is just crank the guitar's volume control up like this <laughs> As you can probably hear that, I've got a little bit of uh, reverb and delay going on as I'm recording the guitar into Reaper. But you're getting the the, um, the overall impression of what the guitar sounds like. And, you know, it's it does the job, doesn't it? Uh, it plays beautifully. Um, really, really well. I've played uh, Fenders, you know, m maybe not USA Fenders, but certainly uh, made in Mexico Fenders that don't play as well as this guitar. Um, action is... Um, I haven't got my action rule at the hand, but it's. Oh, let's just use the old school, the uh, the old steel rule. At the 12th fret on the bass string, I'm going to say that is a shade over a millimetre. Um, so nice, slinky, low action. No dead spots, no choking off, no kind of problems with the fretwork, no uh, sharp fret ends or anything like that. It plays like a guitar that pr would probably cost... A lot more than this um you know if you didn't know anything about the Faisley brand and you picked this guitar up and started playing it you'd think you were you know kind of nudging four figures in terms of the price tag it's um it's a, a really well put together guitar i said in the last video that um the uh, that ocean fade tide blue one the, the twin humbucker telecaster was the best of the bunch well i hadn't tried this one at that point i would say that this is um you know aside from the, the slightly chunky weight i don't think there's anything really to complain about with this guitar um you know it um it, it's it has impressed me as you can tell uh so what's left to talk about um well yeah let's have a listen to that neck pickup with the um with the, the guitar's volume wound all the way up see what we've got there <laughs> If I had to sum that up in a word, I think it would be muscular. 
Um, it's just a big old beefy sound, isn't it? And do you notice how there's still oodles of clarity there? You know, um, sometimes when you get a bit of gain, not admittedly a lot of gain, but there is some there on a neck pickup, it can often sound a bit muffled and woolly, and uh, there is no evidence of this here. I'm not sure what pickups are in this guitar, but if this were my guitar, I would not be in a hurry to, um, to change them. You know, it's the thing about kind of budget guitars like the um, the other two of the ones that I've looked at here, the great modding platforms. I don't think, honestly, that you would need to do anything to this guitar. It is, you know, maybe personal taste, but, you know, there's nothing that is deficient about this guitar where you think, oh, yeah, it's a great guitar, but I'll need to change that. Nothing at all. Um, it's it's ready to rock straight out the box best of the bunch I think this one so there you go folks that is my little review of the Faisley Project Series P4 Heatwave Sunburnt limited edition £384 worth of um, kind of Telecaster variant um, make of it what you will hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative and hopefully entertaining in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and a whole range of other things great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now